Number 51, calculate the number of moles and the mass of the solute in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter C. In this case, we have to find the moles on the mass of 5.50 liters, right? And this is of 13.3 uh, molarity of H2CO. The formaldehyde used to fix, quote unquote, tissue samples. So this is talking about embalming, right? Embalming a body. Um, this is the compound formaldehyde that they use in order to, you know, keep the tissues rejuvenated and to, you know, slow down the process of decay. But anyway, in happier times, let's just figure out the moles and the mass of this. <laughs> so they gave us a liters. They gave us a molarity. We need to find moles, right? We can use the, the, the chart here, right? This is a cute little chart to help you guys set up your molarity equations. The only thing that you just have to really pay attention to is, you know, make the triangle, put a T in the middle, and just make sure that the, the, the units go in their exact same spots, okay? So let's just run through. Let's see. What do we have? They told us that we had 5.50 liters, so I have a liter. They told us that we have 13.3 molarity, capital M is molarity, so I have this, right? So the only thing that I don't have is the moles, so I can find it. And that's what they wanted us to know, right? So in this case, moles will be equal to, now in order to write the, the correct formula, all you gotta do is just hover over your thumb if you're doing this on like a piece of paper, hover over your thumb over the unit that you wanna search for. In this case, it's moles. So if you hover over your thumb over the word mole, mole's not gonna be there anymore. And then what's left? It's just M and L. Now they're on the same tier, right? They're both on the bottom and they're right next to each other. So the boxes touching are always multiplication. The boxes up and down are division. So in this case, moles is molarity times liters. So now all we gotta do is just do the math. Moles equals molarity 13.3 times 5.50. You can keep the units in here if you want. You don't have to though. Just know that the end answer is the unit of moles. So let's go. We got 13.3 times 5.5, three sig figs. So we got 73.2. And that's moles of this formaldehyde, right? H2CO. So we answered the first question. Now we have to convert the moles into a mass, right? And the mass is just grams. So how do I go from a mole of formaldehyde to grams of formaldehyde? This we learned way back, right? But here's the little trick if you guys don't want to do dimensional analysis. If you're starting off with a mole of something and you want to get the amount of grams, right? We're going this way. All you have to do is take that mole value and times it by the molecular weight or the molar mass. It's the same thing. The molecular weight and the molar mass comes from the periodic table. So that number will come from the periodic table. So that's coming back again. Everything comes back in chemistry. It's like we can never escape everything that we've learned before. So now we have to take a sidestep and just find out what the molecular weight of H2CO is. Well, we got this, right? Go to your periodic table. I'm going to go to mine. And let's just see if we get roughly the same uh, molecular mass. We're just going to add up the masses. But in here, just make sure, you know, you have two hydrogens. Uh, you got one carbon, so that's roughly 12. And you got an oxygen. So this, let's just see. Hold on. Oop. I don't think I did that right. I got a really weird number and I said, what? So hold on. Let's see. Okay, that looks better. So this comes out to roughly around 30.026. And the units of molecular weight or, or molar mass is grams per mole. Okay. So I just take my moles and I multiply by the weight to get the grams. So I'll do 73.2 times the 30.026. And that should equal my grams. 
So maybe I'll just put it up here. You know, this is moles times the molecular weight equals grams. And if we keep the units, right, maybe I'll put the units down here. This was moles. The, mo the unit for molecular weight is gram per mole. And if you're timesing these together, look what happens to the moles. Well, they cancel out. And that's why you're only left with the unit grams. So 73.2 times 30.026. Three sig figs. I get roughly, we'll put this in scientific notation. So I get 2.20 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. And that's grams of H2Cl. So there's your two answers, guys. We got the moles up on top, and then we just converted it to grams. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. Uh, like the video if it did help you. That just gives us a way to seeing that we're doing our job right here. Um, we appreciate you guys so much. You guys have been so awesome during this whole process. I'm, re I'm really glad that we are, we are helping uh, you guys out in your classes. If you guys are in math or physics, we also have videos for those if you want to check those out on our channel. But as always, I hope you guys have a great day and keep studying hard. You guys got this. Bye-bye.